Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. We're going to break down Eye of the Tiger. Yes, let's get pumped up. Also, thanks for supporting Marty Music. I appreciate you subscribing, clicking the bell notification. And then also I got a bunch of bonus links in the description below, courses, ways you can help decide what lessons I teach. Lots of cool stuff. Thank you for that. Let's break it down. All right, we're going to start with some palm muting. You got to get that palm underneath. We're going to be going one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a on that A string, and we're gonna be on the third fret. So the song really is uh, the key of C minor. So one guitar part's doing that pretty much the whole entire song. So that's a separate guitar to the. But so what we're gonna do there is we're gonna play a C power chord. So three and five and then down to the first fret and back. And then again. And then finally, the C up to the G here. And then up a half step to G sharp, which could also be called A flat. Now if you wanted to get clever, you could try and fill in with that palm muting part. Not really there though, but... Now if you listen to the recording actually, the timing changes, it's like... There's an extra beat on that one, second one. Or the third one. You listen to the recording, you'll hear that, you know, let's see, I don't know, it's the third one, the fourth one, whatever. John, 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 John. There's a little extra count there. So listen for that. Then you've got another rhythm part that you can play up here or right here. I'm choosing right here and I'm doing this little double stop, which is just part of that C minor. So third fret high E, fourth fret B. And so then I'm just covering. I'm really thinking of it as the third fret G and B on the second one. And you got to vibrato it too. And then back to the power chord on the G and the G sharp. Now we get into the verse. We still got that part going on too. Now the piano is playing it like this, like a C minor, like little triad, piano triad. But so you could play, think of it as a full C bar chord or the G, B, or the um, G, D, and B of it. But anyway, it's C minor, C minor, G sharp, A major, or I'm sorry, G sharp major, G sharp major, then up a whole step to A sharp. So 
C minor, but then the G sharp and the A sharp are major. So C minor, G sharp major, A sharp major to C minor. You can play these voicings as well. Play the same chords, keep them alive. It's the eye of the... So the it's the... There is the bass going uh, B flat to C. Not really the guitar, but you could add that. So one, three on the A string. And then an F minor. Now you could play an F power chord or an F full F minor. And then playing it right here. So think of it as... Um, So I'm thinking of a D shape up a half step. And then, and then the cross here. Third fret. So, so it's the eye of the tiger. And then F again. F minor, I mean. And then E flat to B flat. Now the guitar is going but depending on how much instrumentation you have, you want the full chord. So E flat major to B flat major. Right back to F minor. Then the first one again. So you have the uh, third fret and the second fret on the D. So three, two, three, five, three, five, six of the tiger. And on that last one, if you wanted to play something fuller than that uh, sixth fret D string, you play a full bar chord right there. So check it out. Here's the chorus. lesson hope you guys had a good time once again thank you for supporting marty music really appreciate you liking and subscribing as well as clicking that bell notification and once again i've got links in the descriptions below thanks again you guys hope to see you real soon stay healthy happy peace and love